JC Motors with the chassis stabilizer from Progressive Suspension. At JC Motors, you can ride with confidence and shop with confidence, knowing that we offer no hassle returns, life returns, and even a damage replacement offer. Go to jcmotors.com for all the details, and you'll find out why over 280,000 motorcycle riders like yourself have purchased their parts and gear from us. Today, we've got Pat from Progressive Suspension to tell you about the chassis stabilizer. Thanks, Clint. Hi, everybody. Well, if you're watching this video, I know exactly who you are and why you're out here. And I'm glad to say that I'm here to help. What we have before us, as Clint said, is our Touring Link chassis stabilizer. We offer, as you can see in front of me here, two, two versions of it. One for an earlier model, 2008, and earlier FL Bagger. And this one right here is for the 2009 and through current FL Baggers. As I said, you're here for a reason, and it's one of two. It's either you have a friend who's had this experience, or you yourself have experienced it. But typically, on a long distance ride, you're going down the highway, maybe you're going a little bit over the speed limit, and you hit a, perhaps a little bump. Sometimes even the, the grooving in the concrete pavement that drains the water off. Sometimes just hitting in a lazy sweeper, an overpass bump, or even just going into a lazy sweeper. All of a sudden, you have this condition going on. For lack of better words, we've come to call tank slapper. And your hands are on the bar, and that's just what's happening. You feel if it gets any worse, what's going to happen is you're going to start slapping the tank. The handlebars are with your hands on them. And that's exactly what's going on. And sadly... Human nature has you back off that throttle, and as soon as you do, what happens? That's right, it gets worse. So you got to ride it out. You got to stick it out. Once it does and it levels out, you can back off the throttle, pull off to the side, check your shorts perhaps, but we all know there, we've been there, and that's why we have this product for you. Let me take a few minutes of time and show you what, what this kit involves. Let's look at this one here. Basically three pieces of hardware, along with some nuts, bolts, and washers. This piece right here replaces the swing arm pivot that's on your bike currently. Two bolts, the old one comes off, the new one goes on. This bracket here, three small bolts, goes on to the transmission pan rail. We include the new hardware for the extra thickness. And last but not least is this, what, as it says, adjustable link that's already preset and you simply install this between the transmission bracket and the swing arm pivot hardware included now the reason it's made adjustable is because we certainly know the manufacturer that locates the engine in the chassis cannot get it in the exact same spot each and every time so perhaps 99 out of 100 times this one will fit right in and the bolts will slip right in if not that's why we've made it adjustable so you can do that fine tuning because the key is to get those bolts to slip right in and tighten just with the finger before you torque them properly. Now a couple of things I do want to share with you. One, be sure and use Loctite, obviously. Read the instructions, I should probably say better. But in this kit here you'll see there are two washers. Those are not washers, those are actually spacers. Typically we think washers or spacers go behind the head of the bolt. In this case, they do not. What you want is to take each washer on each end here and place it between each bracket and the adjustable link itself. The purpose for that is, again, knowing very well that the manufacturer of the bike can't get that motor exactly in the same spot each and every time, we want to make sure there's sufficient clearance for this swivel to swivel. And that extra 40,000 thick spacer, washer, whatever you want to call it, gives you that satisfaction of knowing it has got plenty of room to pivot and rotate. Over here is essentially the same one. This is for the later model bikes. The only difference is there were some changes, as you know, to the swing arm. So we had to make a new bracket. Otherwise, the adjustable link, the transmission pan, hardware, everything is still the same. Once you've got this installed, and depending on whether you have a stock exhaust on your bike or not, 
Many times this can go on as quickly as 15 to 30 minutes, rarely more than 45 minutes to an hour. So it's something you can do very easily yourself in your garage, your driveway, at your dealership, wherever, at your buddy's house, wherever you care to do it. Try both of these, depending which bike you have, and go for a ride because you'll really enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. What's the price point on this product, Pat? Ah, thank you, Clint. That's a good question. This version right here, the 2008 and earlier, sells for $199.95. The later model ones is $229.95. Perfect. And as usual, you'll find a lower price at jcmotors.com, and we welcome all your questions. Call us at 800-706-9476, or go to jcmotors.com, get live support, and you'll find out why JC Motors is where riders get deals.